So, Andrew, let me ask you, with that in mind, and if we just think of young people, are AI companions dangerous for young people? No, I wouldn't say that, but I want to just take a step back. We build robots for human interaction. We're not looking to market robots to young kids. I do believe that what was just said, it does identify some problems with respect to the, you know, the veracity of the AI. But, you know, our perspective is we're letting our customers decide. We build customized robots and customized AI for people. We believe that realistic looking robots enhance the human interaction. But when we think about companionship, we're, again, there's always unique circumstances. We're thinking about someone who's in an old age home who's bedridden and needs someone to talk to. Uh, maybe they need assistance eating or doing tasks. It's not just about sort of this, you know, companionship in a romantic sense or replacing. Mm. So, again, when in having these conversations, it's a, to, I think there's a little bit here about, you know, robotics didn't start AI or technology. And as was identified earlier, human interaction has been declining since the 50s, I think somebody had said. We're really just, again, trying to provide an assistive tool for people that deem that they need that. And I think it's up mm. to them to decide how they want to use their robot. So, I think in terms of the, the clip that you played, look, I, there needs to be some trust placed in people's ability to think and to interact and, and evaluate things on their own.